What it do, y'all? This is Chris Evans, and this is Talking Data and More. And today I wanted to have a discussion around this whole new shift um, that everybody's talking about, and that's the data mesh architecture. Now, let's analyze what's been working for us. Not a goddamn thing! Now, I wanted to rather have a discussion than me sharing my insights, because for me, I'm new to the data mesh architecture, right? You want to learn how to use a computer? Yeah. And I say that because I'm starting to see more of you all sharing your thoughts, your insights around the data mesh architecture. There you go. I'm starting to have thoughtful conversations with my peers, industry experts around the benefits around data mesh. So today I wanted to just have a video, more of a discussion where I see some of the benefits, where I see some of the cons. And I would love to know if you're an organization, if you're one of those thought leaders and architects, ultimately, have you implemented the data mesh architecture? Are you looking at it? And if you are, please leave a comment below. Let me know. I would love to know more about this way of architecture. Is this the new wave? Is this the new game changer? Right? So, but as I mentioned today, I wanted to have a discussion around data mesh and share my thoughts around it. And what do I believe are some of the pros and cons based on my understanding, right? But before I get into data mesh, as they're talking about this is the new shift, this is the new game changer, let's just talk about the history. Let's just talk about the whole evolution uh, of all these game changers, right? What do you know and what do you don't know? How the hell do I know what I don't know? So for me, 15 years ago, when I started my career off as an ETL developer, I worked on my first project, and that was a huge data warehouse. A project and the data warehouse was supposed to be that game changer, right? And then ultimately, at that time, it was right. And why it provided a lot of benefits of being that centralized IP single source of truth where business users were able to consume that data from their BI perspective, uh, right? From their reports or dashboards. And ultimately, at the time, data warehouse had a lot of benefits, served a lot of great purposes, but ultimately, as technology started evolving and started to change. And as organizations started to bring more and more data, you know, the data warehouses um, ultimately became problematic, right? It didn't scale, right? We're getting more and more data, right? It wasn't fast enough for the business. So what happened? We moved into the whole big data landscape, right? Hadoop and Spark, we started to incorporate and now talk about the new game changer, the data lake. So customers and organizations uh, of mine were moving to the data lake on-prem, leveraging Hadoop, leveraging Spark, right? And again, ultimately it provided a lot of benefits in the beginning, but later on what happened? It became problematic. It's hard to scale, it's hard to manage. Have you managed a Hadoop cluster, right? Where data is being thrown at, it's not easy, right? So what happened? right? We evolve and we move to the cloud, right? So supposedly moving to the cloud, there are benefits where it allows you to scale, easier to manage. And those are true statements, yes. But we are starting to see some issues around even moving to the cloud that could be managing and even scale could be problematic. But right now we have moved to the cloud. As we move to the cloud, we're now talking about, as my understanding, this whole data mesh architecture and this whole data mesh landscape. There are a few things I want to point out that I see our forward thinking that are game changers today that we should incorporate in our landscape, in our architecture, and that's the whole DevOps process, as well as microservices. And I will talk about those in later videos. I'm going to share my insights because those, those processes provide a lot of value uh, within organizations today. But I really want to focus on two of the major points within the dev, uh, this whole data mesh architecture as to what I understand from my peers, as well as to what I see online. 
Um, now, data mesh, the, the main two points of the architecture is, you know, setting and, your, and creating your data by domain and also setting and creating your data as a product, right? Let's talk about data as a domain. What do I mean by that? So rather than you having this, you know, data warehouse or this data lake where data is thrown, you're setting your data by domain. So meaning you're having data for your customers, you're having your data for your orders. If you're in healthcare, you're having data for your claims. To me, this is nothing new. 10 years ago, 10 plus years ago, when I was working on a global SAP implementation, SAP, what do they do? They had, if you're an SAP shop, you know, data is by domain, right? Um, when I did that implementation, we had architects, we had data engineers, such as myself, and we had data domain experts, right? So saying data, um, setting up data by domain is new. That, that to me is not new. That is not a game changer. And though I do see a few pros in setting your data domain, um, by domain, I do see there, there are still some challenges doing that, especially if you ever implemented SAP, you, you may already know those challenges. But one of the benefits is my understanding of the architectural landscape of the data meshes. When you're setting your up your data by domain, that ultimately will then help you go to the second major architecture piece is productizing that data, right? Which I do see as a game changer, which to me is not also that new, but productizing that data. We all as consumers love products. We want products to make our, to help us with our day, making our lives easier. Come on, we love it. And as an organization, right? You're going to want a product to help you do your job quicker and faster, right? So having data as a product, I do see as a game changer. Why so? When you're setting your data by domain, you can ultimately say, I have the customer Z product, right? And you could socialize that with an organization that rather than when a business is coming to IT and asking for customer data and this specific database, or they're asking for a specific customer data in a specific landscape, or they're talking about a product, uh, sorry, solution, you're able to say, stop it. I have customer Z product. It has that customer data that you're looking for, that trustworthy Nick customer. Or are you looking for those orders? I have the order Z product that has all the orders that you need today to operate your business, right? So productizing data, though is not new to me, is a game changer. So incorporating that in the data mesh architecture, I believe was going to provide tremendous benefits because again, we as consumers of people love products. So why not within an organization, am I going to gravitate to a product that has the data that I need rather than me saying, okay, let me get you this solution that has that customer data you need. Oh, or okay, let me pull that customer data from that specific application. No, let's get away from that mindset, but productizing. So to me, I believe that's a game changer. But again, these are the two major fundamental uh, understandings for myself of the architecture of the data mesh. I would love to know if you're an organization if you're, again, are you utilizing the data mess architecture? Are you seeing benefits? What do you ultimately see are the pros and cons? Do you see setting up the data by domain relatively helping your business? Is data by product ultimately a game changer with your organization? Again, this video is tend to be more of a discussion uh, rather than me sharing insights, but please leave a comment below. Are you an organization seeing benefits around the data mesh architecture. Are you an organization looking to implement data mesh? And if so, why? Well, thank you all for taking the time and checking out my latest video around data mesh and the data mesh architectural landscape. I hope to see you all on my next video. Stay.